recording. Okay, I think we are live. So I made it to where all three of you guys are co-hosts, so each of you guys can unmute yourselves and everything, but um, we are gonna start with Lauren because she has a family thing to go to, but Lauren, if you just wanna unmute yourself and just start by sharing your story, let us know who you are and all that good stuff. Okay, can y'all hear me? Perfect, okay. Hey guys, so I am Lauren Pennington. Um, I am a double diamond in this business. I've been in for a little over two years, which is honestly insane. I basically joined for probably the same reason you guys did just for a little extra money. Um, five months in, I hit diamond. And then this past April, I, so I worked another job. I have a master's and I worked with children. So when COVID hit, we couldn't really work anymore. And so I went like actual full-time with this business, went double, um, moved out to Denver. And that is basically where life is at now all because of this business. So it's really exciting. And before I get started, oh, also you guys, sorry for looking a hot mess. I literally got Botox for uh, a Christmas present. <laughs> so I literally have like holes in my head right now. Um, but this is about being authentic. So here you go. This is really me. Um, before I start with these tips though, I wanted to let you guys know that when, okay, well, Sh Cheyenne asked me to speak because I don't care what people think. And I think this is a big reason why I don't care what people think. So when I was coming home from college with my best friend, we were hit by a van and she did not make it. And it was the hardest thing that I have ever had to go through in my life. And I learned two really important things from it though. And one of them is that as long as you're on this earth being nice to people, not doing anything illegal, it really doesn't matter what you do, you guys. The life is so, so, so short. And I don't think I realized this until I saw firsthand how short it can really be. And on top of that, you can't let other people dictate what you're going to do. I used to be really agile hated a lot. I would get really offended if people said something bad about me or didn't like me. I would really let that affect like my whole mood until that day when I realized like life is going to happen and sometimes it can be super tragic. So little things like people not liking you or liking your outfit or your nails shouldn't let, you shouldn't let that get to you. And so just wanted to start off by saying that. And I think it's really taken me having to learn that the hard way. Um, but I'm really glad that everything has ended up this way and it's really helped me in my business as well. So I'm going to share a few tips with you guys. Um, but I do want to ask a question. So how many of you drop a one? Have you ever felt like, because you're not a certain type of person or you don't look just like your upline and act just like her that you maybe felt like you wouldn't be successful in this business. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a one too, because I used to be like this. Um, and I just told my girls this the other day, but it wasn't until I went to my first conference, which was also about five months in, and I saw the top 150 income earners and the millionaires cross the stage, and each one of them looked so different and had completely different personalities, one person to the next. And I realized then that one, Courtney wasn't the only person succeeding. I truly thought, I really thought she was like Mark, y'all. I, I thought she like owned the company. I don't know. And so, cause she's my direct upline. So Courtney Vogel, I know a lot of you signed with her or Shay, all those people that we just like think that they're untouchable. I really thought that I had to be exactly like her. It wasn't until conference that I realized showing up period imperfectly um, is better than not showing up at all. So I ran with that and I think I kind of made that part of my brand. And so speaking on branding, um, I feel like a lot of people feel like, what else could I talk about other than the products in the business? Like I don't do anything, y'all. I don't do anything either. Like I literally moved to Denver and still stay in my house. I don't know. I think it's just this business. I'm obsessed, but um, I want y'all to really think about real quick. What are the top three things that you feel confident talking about or um, you like to talk about? Because those are really easy to start incorporating into your day to day. And so for me, um, I mean, being sassy isn't really a topic, but I feel very confident when I'm like that. So I kind of started incorporating that 
also like my husband, my dog. Um, I like to go on Pinterest and find outfits and then recreate them. That's something else I like to do. So um, write three things down that you already feel confident talking about and you can start branding yourself. And so um, I recommend incorporating these into your story every single day. And you're gonna hear from Britt and Sarah after me, and I know Britt now on a personal level, but I don't, I've only met Sarah a few times, but I do know that she used to work at Disney. She's a dancer, she likes color pink, she has a boyfriend, um, she's super cute and sweet. And like, I know this because she shares it every single day. And so people will literally start to feel like they're your friend and they know something about you. And I think the way to do that is by incorporating other things into what you're already doing. And so um, when you do show up though, you guys show up however you're most confident. So I don't know if it's because I went to an SEC school for four years where the attire was a big t-shirt and no makeup, but I got super confident and just like showing up like this. Um, but if you feel most confident with a full face of makeup, then put a full face of makeup on, but just make sure that you can keep up with that every single day, because it's more important to just show up again than showing up however you feel like is a perfect look for you. So whatever you already feel comfortable in, I would just recommend staying like that. Um, and so you can kind of build an audience that way. And something that I really like is that the more that you're authentically yourself, you start to attract people more like you. And obviously we're not all, all supposed to be the same. That's the point of this, but it's really good to build that brand so people know what to expect from you. And I'll kind of cover that later. Um, but you also have to remember, and I tell my girls this all the time, you are the expert. So that should make you confident already. Um, you're like a thousand steps ahead of anyone else that hasn't joined this business. And if you've tried the products, you know way more about the products than people who haven't tried any products. Um, also keep in mind that you get to pick and choose what you show. And so I know I used to have to practice before I got on a story and I would have to read over the skinny brew to make sure I can talk about it. And so, but no one saw that. No, I didn't cord myself going over what I'm going to say. So if you show up as your best self, even if it takes some rehearsing, people only see what you show them. So they'll only see your best self. So with that, you just need to be extra confident in what you're going to talk about. And the more that you show up authentically, the easier that it is to continue to show up authentically. So my first video, like without makeup, I was like, mm, people are going to exit out of the story real quick. And I will say when I look better, people stay longer. It's just so ridiculous. But I also just know I can't keep that up. So I have to show up like this and they're just going to have to deal with it because I ain't talking if I have to have makeup on all the time. And so haters, you guys, they're gonna hate regardless. And one thing I've learned is if you're being true to yourself, they can't tell you that you're doing something wrong. How is someone gonna tell you about yourself? And the best way I can think about this is with like personal results. Like someone texted me and was like, the skinny brew doesn't work. And I literally sent them my personal results. Like, how are you gonna tell me? And that's exactly the same thing with your personality. Like no one can tell you that you're doing it wrong when you're truly just being yourself. And I think it's easier for people to actually pick apart what you're doing when you aren't being true to yourself. I think it's very obvious when you're trying to kind of like copy something that someone else is doing rather than just showing up. So don't give them a reason to even have anything to say. And if they do, have, if you're showing up as yourself and they still have something negative to say, then it's going to be even easier to let that person go. Because I think it's also when I first started, I was so willing to let anybody into my business and try to sell to everything that breathed. Like literally I was just all over the place and I was wondering like why my team wouldn't stay together and like why my customers weren't returning. And it was because they didn't, know what to expect from me because I wasn't being myself. So when it came time for a Zoom and I started acting like I really am, no one was listening to me. And so the moment that you start to actually show up as yourself, you give people an expectation 
and that will follow you. And so now on my Zooms, I can hit my jewel sometimes and maybe let a cuss word slip because these girls already know that that's who I am and they'll respect that and the same with customers. So if you wanna build a strong team and a strong customer base for people that are coming back, give them a reason to wanna come back, give them a reason to know like what they can expect from you in the long run because this definitely is about like longevity with your team and your customers. And um, also you guys, you need to know that you're placed here, literally handpicked for a purpose in this business. Just like all of the top income earners were handpicked, so were you. And they had a purpose to fill and they are doing that. When you're trying to be like them, you're not fulfilling the purpose that you were supposed to be here for. Um, you can enroll customers that I can't, you can enroll DTs that I can't. And that's because you bring something to the table that other people don't, even if it's something super small, like how many of y'all know that Cheyenne loves, uh, Dr. Pepper? Like I do, like, I just know that because that's all she talks about. And I can guarantee she's probably enrolled customers and DTs with the same love of Dr. Pepper, which is the most random thing, but like, it's just these little things that you'll start to see that you have in common with people that will make them really appreciate you. And you won't see that until you have the confidence to literally show up as yourself. And so this is kind of on topic with what I'm talking about, but something that I've recently, um, this is like a tangible tip that I've done um, so on TikTok, one of my TikToks blew up. I had a ton of messages and I don't know how you guys respond to distributors. I used to send voice memos and I quickly realized that I can't send a hundred voice memos in a day. It's just not going to happen. So what I started doing was I started recording myself. So I have a 59 second video of myself with a filter on explaining what I do in the business, who I am, what I've gotten from it. And that is what I send to people when they ask me. Uh, more information on the business. And I think this took things to like the next level because again, they don't, they only see what you're showing them. They don't know if that's pre recorded. They don't know if you literally stopped your whole day to respond to them. And it just makes it super personal. And it's gotten me way more distributors than ever before. So I, if you aren't doing that, it's even easier, you guys. Like I have that video say if someone, someone's like, Biz, I literally send them a video. And I'm like, okay, if you have any questions from here, let me know. And it gets them to see your personality as well. Because at the end of the day, we all sell the same thing. We all do the same thing. The difference is going to be what you bring to the table and your excitement and your personality. And so if it takes a little longer to build your team, it's okay because that team is going to last because again, they know what to expect. And so that is something that I've been doing. It's been working really well and that's basically what i got on that do you have any questions specifically i do have a question because you know green overthinking everything so like what do you like say on this video because i thought that was a really good idea but if i went to record it i would just be like hi um join my team thank you <laughs> so, okay <laughs> so i'm assuming you probably send voice memos okay so yeah. how many of y'all this is like I can recite that voice memo that it's like, so what I do is promote for a health and wellness company. It's really cool because you don't have to be a product and stop. I could recite that to you guys all day long with my eyes closed. So what I did was basically take that voice memo, set up my camera, look into the camera and say the same exact thing that I would say over the voice memo. But because like, because voice memos used to kill texting because they could hear your excitement in your voice. This kills all of it because they can hear it, they can see it. And so I like talk with my hands and I just get really excited, but it's me literally explaining the business, like how you would help someone else explain the business. And so again, if you are new, especially you want to get comfortable, like really being able to the answer, what do you do? So I guess if y'all want some like specific details, I always cover that, we work for a health and wellness company. It's 100% online. Um, we don't have to keep our products in stock. Because we don't have to keep our products in stock, we pay for our website. It's $20 and our products are amazing. We have huge collaborations with Dr. Nassif, love to name drop, um, along with 60 other products ranging from weight loss to skincare to hair growth. Um, it's $99 to get started. That's what I started for. I made the money back in X amount of days, and I'm here to teach you how to do the same thing. How does that sound?
So literally took my voice memo, made it a video, threw in some hand motions, and that's what I send to people. And it's been working really well. I love that. So do you basically just use that as kind of like a filter? Like if they respond to the video, then they're interested type of thing? Yep. And I actually started it because of that $40 deal that we had for literally 20 years, because so many people wanted to join for $40. I was like, I can't keep on re-saying this. So I recorded it after that deal ended, like a few weeks ago, I got a message that was like biz. And I was like, uh, uh. Like I almost forgot what to do. I'm like, well, I need that video. And so I had to remake it saying that it's 99, but the confidence behind it was still there. So that's really the key, whether it be 40 or 99, if you can put it in a video and act like it was the best $99 you've ever spent, they will most likely join over you texting them saying it's 99 and you get samples. And then this is what you, like people will read it's 99 and ghost, right? That happens to me a lot. But when you, tell them like how long did it take you to earn that 99 dollars back like if you're new like how long did it take you to get your shopping spree like let them know those things um and it just makes it way more personable yeah i love that that is one thing that i put into like my conversation or whatever is like whenever they say how much money they want to make i always say like oh that's like this rank and i did that in x amount of time but i'm here to help you do that faster and like once i started doing that they're like oh okay cool and i'm like okay yeah cool and like in my pricing message like i i do the same thing like i'm 99 dollars to get started i made that back after like two days I think and then got my shopping spree and da 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 so like once you're like confident in that people are gonna be like oh okay well she can do it so that means she can help right. me do it too and it just like yeah. builds so much more confidence there so I love that that was super super good yeah you literally have to do it once you guys and then you can use it literally forever because again like they don't know when you took that video so like I, I just resave it so it's at the top and it's just like the fastest thing ever and it works so well I love that. Definitely going to have to do that tomorrow. Um, that was super, super good. But also, if anyone has any questions for Lauren specifically, go ahead and throw them in the chat. Um, I know she has to leave here pretty soon, but we are going to jump over to Sarah now. Um, so Sarah, same thing. You should be able to unmute yourself and just kind of share a little bit about your story. Tell us who you are and then just give us your tips from that. All right. Hey guys, I am Sarah Salinas. I'm 23 years old now. My birthday was last week. I joined this business when I was 20. So I've been in a little over two years. It's been like two and a half years. I'm a double diamond now. Um, I had like a really slow start. So if you have a slow start going right now, or maybe you did have a slow start, I didn't do anything in the business for like three months whenever I started. Um, so that was kind of like that went into like my full year in the business. Like the first year is completely different than my second year in the business. Um, I was just slow, didn't understand a lot of things. And so this topic is something that I feel like I struggled with a lot that first year because I didn't know what the heck I was sharing. Um, I didn't know like what else I could share like Lauren was talking about. Like I knew I, I liked dancing, but I didn't, I wasn't comfortable like sharing that online, like sharing like my personality. And it's something that you definitely have to grow through. Um, but once I started doing that, that's whenever I started promoting again, because I sat at Diamond for almost a full year. But whenever I went double, it was because I was like showing up more, I was doing everything. Um, and I was just like putting myself out there in a way that I wasn't doing before. Um, but with this business, I've been able to quit multiple jobs. I started while working three jobs. I was a full time student. I was um, on a dance team. As a dance teacher, I was doing a lot of random things. I even at one point, I don't actually mention this a lot, but I don't know if y'all know what those bird scooters are, but I became like a bird scooter charger and I thought that I was gonna make lots of bank doing that. Not good. I didn't I didn't ever do one of them, but <laughs> I literally was like looking for anything to make money and it wasn't this business. I was not looking for this business. I'd never heard of it before, never heard of network marketing. I my mom did um it's not avon mary Kay, a long time ago but i never understood that that was like i didn't connect that that was network marketing um so i saw kayla posting about it and I was, all i saw was that she was making money online and i was like i kind of like social media so i did it um and it's allowed me to quit those jobs and lauren said i, I moved to disney or moved to to Florida and I worked for Disney for six months and um, did an internship without having to like skip a beat I wasn't stressed about money wasn't stressed about like anything holding me back and I, I left my my job as a dance teacher but it was okay like it was it was totally fine not not going back there um, and then I moved back to Dallas I am a full-time student still in my senior year and I just work this business full-time now so 
it's really allowed me to do a lot. I joined so I didn't have to ask my parents for money because um, I moved on my own and I didn't want to be like embarrassed asking them for money. That's just like me. It's not embarrassing to ask your parents for money. But <laughs> I didn't want to have to ask them and like put a, a like sh make them struggle more than they were. Um, so that's a little bit about what the business has done for me. But talking about just being yourself, like I said, it comes over time and it comes with confidence building. Um, it comes with like figuring out who you are because I know I, I started when I was 20. I didn't really know who I was outside of dance like I had always been a dancer from high school from like even being little and so that's all I knew and I knew how to like adapt to the group I was with and like adapt to their personalities and become like them and it's just like being a dancer you just become the same people that you are and that's the same thing in this business you're the same as like the five people you surround yourself with um so it takes time to learn like yourself and that takes growing and doing personal development and things like that um but once you start like putting yourself out there on social media and I think the biggest Instagram yes like it's it's huge for me but I get all customers from Facebook and once I started shifting from just like throwing result pictures out there and throwing like captions about products and started like talking about myself and utilizing the products and having confidence behind them and going live on Facebook that stuff that was so out of my comfort zone that's whenever like my Facebook started taking off and I did not use it my first year in the business because I was like, that's only for family members. I'm not going to post anything on there ever. Um, but whenever I started posting more and getting comfortable and instead of throwing up like slides every single day on my Facebook feed, it was me like literally on there showing things and talking about my life because people always want to know what you're doing. Like people are so nosy, especially right now. Like they want to be involved in your life. They want to see what you're eating. They want to see what you're, you're doing today. What, like I posted about what I was going to school for yesterday. And I got so many messages about that with people asking questions about it. Um, I don't talk about it enough. So now I know I should probably talk about what I go to school for because people want to know. Um, and so that gives you something to talk about outside of the business. Even if it's something really small, I could talk about something I've been doing this month is talking about things that I just like get off of Amazon or like gifts that I got and I could talk about like I had this already planned in a few days I'm, I have this anti-gravity phone case that I got for Christmas and in a few days you're gonna see me on my story talking about it not today because I got too much stuff on there right now but in a few days I'm gonna talk about it and people that like they'll start watching my stories more because they're I'm adding value to them in some way and they're nosy and want to know what the heck I'm getting on in the mail or what I got for my birthday and all the things <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell y'all about it. it. You take this little thing off and it sticks to anything and you can use it. So you don't need a tripod. Um, so it sticks to my mirror. So I don't have to like put my prop my phone up, but I got it off Amazon. <laughs> See, y'all are excited to hear that. Other people are too. So um, when you share things that are outside of the business, that brings people to your page more. So I've definitely seen that on TikTok. Um, I joined TikTok and I posted like legit only about the business. I was just copying everybody and I was just like pointing at things and I was like, this is so dumb, but I'm doing it anyways. And then I started doing my own thing and not to say that I'm like super creative and funny and anything, but once I started making my own things and having my own like group, that brought people to my page. So now when I do post a business, there's actually people there and it's not just like talking to my mom because now I've, I've gotten people to my page because they relate with me in some type of way whether that be like me talking about my dog or my favorite color or some places I like to shop at now they're here and I and we relate and then they see me post about the business and they're like oh what, well what are you doing and also having that connection kind of builds like a trust and I don't know about y'all but like I don't really follow people that don't have the same interest as me in some way whether it be like their aspirations, their, their like favorite places to shop or something like I don't necessarily follow those people. And that's going to be the same for you and your business. There's going to be people who don't follow like somebody else on this zoom because they don't relate to them, but they're going to follow you specifically for what you shared. And then they'll join you because they have that like trust in you um, from what they saw there. But that's definitely been relevant in TikTok because I used, like I said, my, my videos were terrible. I mean, not terrible, but they were just everybody else's videos. And then once I started making my own and trying to like really add a twist to things, that is what brings people to your page. Um, but that I don't, I don't really know what else I, I, I need a question. <laughs> Do you have a question? No, you're totally fine. I love that. That was the one thing I was like, I like don't have questions prepared. And if I was speaking on the Zoom, I would be stressed out. So I understand. Um, but I'm like trying to think, like, was there something like in your head that just was like, oh, I need to do this. And you just like, like flipped a switch or something to get you to like start going live and like start doing other things like that. 
yeah. Yeah. Just... So going live, I actually have a girl on my team. She started going live like the day she joined and she was talking about the products and did everything like the day she joined. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I'm her leader. I need to get on it. So I went live because I saw her do it and I was like, I need to leave from the front. So I started doing it. Um, and it's definitely scary. And a lot of my team does it now, but they start off like doing one minute lives and then, then it gets bigger and you can talk about other things. You can talk about like what you're wearing, what you're doing that day, um, what you have going on, what the weather is or, or something, and then just be making your coffee and that, that brings interest to your page. So I highly recommend going live, but like any day that you can, I definitely don't do it every single day because I don't want to get dressed every day and I don't want to just, I don't want to get on live um, every single day. But um, as far as like Instagram, I already was like super into social media and not like I had a great following or anything. I just like liked watching other people's things. So then I started noticing that people were like using a preset or that they like shared things that they like. They weren't just crazy all over the place with different personalities. Like you could go to their page and you saw that they had like a specific vibe going on. Um, so I started like looking into that and wanting to create that on my page. So I went into like work, looking at presets and what worked for me and the type of things I wanted to share. And you're, you can like brand yourself just by your front page of your Instagram, like without your face ever being on your story, like you can start there and just add your highlights to be like whatever colors you like or what you, what you like surround yourself with. My, my highlights are like my dog traveling, coffee, the business, my, my dancing and things like that that make me myself and then my page you can see like if you go on there it's like bright and stuff but other people have like darker tones so starting with that is a really good place to look at and just like branding yourself on your social media platform and then doing small things that are, are more like yourself like if you see somebody Cheyenne post an opportunity post and instead of using hers like making your own that starts like building your brand and now you're now you've done the same exact thing she does it has the same words it just has your colors your picture on it and that is going to start creating your brand on instagram and facebook and whatever platform you're on so people when they come to your page I, you want them to like see your story and know that it's you without knowing it's you like I know when it's Brittany and Lauren because I can go on there and if I cover their their names on there I'll know it's them because they have a, a certain style of how they post things so that's a good place to start on Instagram and just like looking at people that you already follow. I like to look at bloggers or people that like I follow already and see why do I like them? Like, why am I attracted to their page? And then I just kind of not necessarily copy them, but just like do what, how my twist is on what they're doing already because that's attracting me to them. So it'll attract other people to my page. Um, but picking your five things about you, making them like known and visible on your page first thing whenever somebody comes to your page they should be able to tell a little bit about you at least it shouldn't be just like only it works like it works as a brand but it's not you it's not your brand is you not it works if that makes sense um but that's a good place to start it's just like looking at your social media platforms and then build up the confidence to start talking about things and your first thing doesn't have to be about the business it can be about whatever i your first thing it could be about something random like a anti-gravity phone case <laughs> and people will like it and then you'll get confident and it'll start building up and if you feel like you're not getting any views right now or nobody's talking to you nobody's responding to you it's okay there's always somebody that's looking at you you just don't know it and things will pop up on my time hop that have no likes. Maybe Dylan's the only one that liked it. And, but I probably got a customer from that. Like somebody will see it, but to be too nervous to like, to ask me questions or to comment on there and then they'll message me directly instead. Um, so if you feel like I, you shouldn't like hold your worth in what people are commenting or liking on something like it's a vanity mesh, mesh, meh, vanity metric <laughs> it doesn't define like your success in this business you could be somebody that has like no likes and no anything but you're getting all the hosts post up and you're getting all the customers so if you don't look so much into like that and just focus on being you and showing up authentically you're going to see your business really take off instead of focusing on like how can i get more likes and stuff like focus on being you and that's going to be what changes your business yeah I seriously love that so much and like because one of my biggest things like I know all of us want to go viral on TikTok okay like Lauren's over here on a different level than us but it's fine but 
<laughs> she rolls her eyes. But like, we all want to get like thousands of views. Okay. Like you're not the only one. And one thing like I was looking at was like, my videos really don't get like a lot of views. Like they really don't. And like on some of my videos that have maybe like 200, which like for me is like an average, those videos are still getting me like customers and potentials and distributors because like, it doesn't matter that it doesn't have like 90,000 views on it. The right people are going to see it. And that's like what the biggest thing that I've, I've had to like switch my mindset with is like, yes, I want a video that has like an M by it. I really do. But like, that doesn't matter. You know, like that's just like my ego side, but exactly. What would you say? 200 is more people usually. Yeah, exactly. Cause like, it doesn't matter about the views or anything or the likes on your posts or anything like that. You are going to have people that reach out to you just simply from like watching. And like, that's the biggest thing that has just like completely like changed my business at least is not focusing on the likes or the views or the comments or anything like that. Because a lot of people are watching it and saving it and sending it to someone. And they're like, Oh my gosh, like, what is this? And like talking about it then they're going to reach out to you. So I love that so, so much. Um, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, Sarah was talking about like what attracts people to her page and everything. You guys, Sarah is the one person, I will go and look at her stories and I'm like, okay. And I just start screenshotting because I'm like, these are so cute, but they're like videos and like all those things. And I'm like, okay, I can recreate this. And then I'll send them to her. And I'm like, look what I did. I made this from yours. Like, I'm so excited, you know, but like, it's just getting different ideas and stuff off of other people's. And I seriously love that. Um, but yeah, that was super good. So if you guys have any questions for Sarah in the chat, please throw them in there. But Brittany, um, again, you should be able to meet yourself. Just share a little bit of your story and then just go right into your tips. Hello, you guys. I'm Brittany. I'm a double diamond. I'm Lauren's top down line. Um, so you guys, I've been in the business for almost two years. It'll be two years in February. Um, it took me a million years to go diamond. Okay. Lauren said she did that in five months. I, on the other hand, it took me about a year and a couple of months. Um, because I really didn't take it that seriously. You guys, I'm, I'm in college full time. I was working part-time at my church and then I was nannying. So I was a busy bee. I was doing childcare constantly. Um, and that took up a lot of my time. And I know that that's not an excuse. However, I did let that be my excuse. I went Ruby in about four months and then I went Emerald a couple months after that. And then Diamond, it took me about a year and a couple months to reach that finally. But it has been a whirlwind these past couple of years. And I will tell you the more time that you dedicate and the more consistent that you stay with this, you will reach the goals that you want to be. It's literally, it all boils down to not giving up on yourself. So um, that's pretty much a little bit about my story. I went double diamond the month right after I went diamond. Um, and so that's where we've been at. We've been building for VIP, yada, yada, yada. So um, that's a little bit about my story. I, I joined for some nail money, some hair money. I was that girl that was asking, you know, my parents for money for that. And it, that, again, it's just, it's not a bad thing, but like, who really wants to do that when you're in college, trying to get your shit together, you know, trying to get it all together. So that's kind of what I talked about on my story last night, actually, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, insight. I had a few people actually swipe up from that story. So don't be afraid to share your testimony. Don't be afraid to share your story. You guys, you're going to relate to more people than you think. Um, and that's like kind of going into showing up as yourself authentically. You have absolutely no idea. And Sarah kind of touched on this a little bit. Um, you have no idea who's going to watch your story that day, because I'll tell you right now, there are different people watching you at all times, okay? Somebody might not get on social media one day and then the day that you decide to share your story, they get on their social media and they click on your story first because you're popping, right? You're the one who interacts, you're the one who's doing all the things on social media, being that guru, right? If you're doing all the things, you're going to reach the right people. And something that's super important for being yourself is self-development. If you are not pouring yourself a cup and overflowing it, you will not be able to pour into other people. I love to use my social media to share my personal self-development because I think it's so important. I think, you know, having a devotional is important. That's just me, whatever you believe in. Um, I have my devotional every single day. I journal every day. I, I do 
gratitude. Gratitude is so major, you guys. Um, and so that alone will kind of bring you into who you are. And Sarah touched on that a little bit as well. It'll bring you into who you're meant to be. It'll kind of make you think too, like having that quiet time with yourself and, you know, learning more about what your goals are, what you want to do. That alone will help you be more confident with this business because this business can literally be whatever you want it to be. And that's something that I realized this past year, just with going diamond and going double right after, like you can literally do anything. If you sit down and you put the work in, it will happen. And if you are confident in that, remember that you guys are, we are all, all knowing about this business. Okay. We're the experts. So don't feel like you can't answer a question or you can't reach out to that person or you can't make that post because you can, you are that person. And another thing is, is getting out of your comfort zone. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying, right? You guys are maybe a little afraid to share, you know, a, a bit of your story, right? Because you don't know who's going to say what you don't know who's going to think what, who cares? It's your life. Okay. It's your life. And nobody's going, nobody gets to judge you besides the big man upstairs. Okay. And that's, that's just truly what I believe the universe, whatever you guys want to believe that is, that is true. You are authentically yourself. And that is the best thing that you can bring to the table. Don't be afraid to shout out your goals either. Don't be afraid to tell people I am doing this, 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 and this, it'll hold you accountable as well. And that's another thing. If you don't have somebody that is going to be holding you accountable, maybe find an accountability partner. Um, I have done that a few times in the business. Um, a lot of my leaders are my accountability partners and that alone in itself will help you also relate to your team. You know, you have to be really close and working with the fire as well in order to, you know, show up as yourself. Um, and your story, you guys, is your testimony. It's your power. It is you. It is everything that's going to attract people to you. You will be so shocked at how many people that you can relate to in terms of being able to be authentically yourself. Like there are days where I get on my story and I'm like all dolled up having a great time. And then there's days where I'm like literally messy bun in a t-shirt that doesn't even match the jacket that I'm wearing. Like who cares? It's life. Okay. We're all living life here. And I think that something that's, you know, I actually heard this on a zoom the other day. If you're following somebody that you just, if you can't relate to them and you find yourself comparing yourself to them, don't, don't even feed yourself that BS you guys don't even feed it to yourself because there, I will tell you right now, imposter syndrome is real okay i had my little fair share of that here recently and you guys get out of that world make sure that you are feeding yourself what inspires you because that alone yes mute the post mute the stories i've done that before you guys it's not rude okay you can go check up on them whenever you feel like it if you want to if you need some inspiration maybe you need to light a fire under your ass or something i don't know but Literally, if you're not inspired by what you're pouring into yourself, that's only going to feed the demons, you guys. So make sure you're following accounts that inspire you. Make sure you're also thinking outside the box in terms of, you know, what are you listening to? What are you dreaming about? Do you have a dream board? Do you have a journal that you journal in every day? There are so many things and go to your upline too. If you need guidance, that's another thing. Your mentors and your leaders on this team are everything. I personally love doing one-on-one -on -one mentorship with my team. And so that alone, I think will also help you show up as your authentic self because yeah, we can't like spoon feed you. Right. But we can guide you in the right direction. That's what we're all here on the zoom for. That's what we're all pouring into you guys for. Um, so that's, I mean, pretty much all I had. Um, if you guys have any questions, I do want to leave you guys with this quote. Um, it's actually on my background and it says your work matters every day that you show up, even when it's hard, even when you don't feel like it, 
you are making a difference. So even on the hard days, even on the days when you want to hang up and hang back and not show up, remember that the world needs the magic that is inside of you. Your work matters, your consistent consistency matters, your ideas matter, and your presence matters. Keep going, you guys. Keep going. Share your story. Be loud about it. Be loud about the products, you guys. We have amazing products on our hands. They're beautiful. They're amazing. There's no reason to not be loud about it. Seriously, love that so much. The first thing I want to say is, you guys, if you don't already follow these three girls, please follow them. One, they're all hilarious. They will all make you laugh on a daily basis, give you some light into your day. But I loved what you said even more just about like sharing your struggles because like people are going to relate more to that. Like people do not relate to the fact that I am like a top VIP leader and that I've bought a dream car and that I'm building a six figure savings. People don't relate to that. They relate right. to the girl that was 19 struggling to pay her bills, working three jobs and in college. That's what people relate to. Yeah. Like they do not relate to these like huge extravagant things. And like, obviously that may relate to some people because they're like, oh my gosh, like I want to have that. But once you start sharing the little things, like I know I really got away from that for the longest time. And I was like, I'm not enrolling distributors. And it was like, oh, is it because all I'm sharing is the greatness. Right. Like I need to share like where I came from and like sharing like at the gas pump. Like I know we all do this, a little boomerang, like not worrying about paying my gas bill, you know, like anything yeah. like that, or like getting your nails done. Mm -hmm. Those little things, that is what's going to relate to more people than saying, oh, like I just earned a $50,000 bonus, insert right. income disclosure. Like people don't relate to that. They're like, Yay. that's not real. A lot of people don't yeah. think it's real. I, I mean, I remember when I was watching Lauren, I mean, she was telling me she was making a full-time income from social media. And I literally cackled. I was like, you're joking. That's not real. You don't, people don't do that. What? <laughs> so you guys be relatable and share what you're going through. Okay. I'm a college student. College was a absolute horrendous wreck this year. Anybody else relate? Like it was crazy. So be relatable and love on your people too. If you guys, I like to interact with my followers. I think that's fun. Build the friendship, build, build the network. That's, that's also how you're going to build your authenticness and, and learn who you even are too. Cause I mean, who you surround yourself with. I mean, Sarah said it earlier is who you become. So. Hey, it's me. <laughs> oh, hey, Lauren. Quick little. <laughs> quick little tip here um going off of um what Cheyenne was saying about sharing like okay wow <laughs> girl we lost you all right you can't hear me <laughs> well now we can for like two seconds I'm so done. Can you hear me? Yes. I think you're about to friends. <laughs> I'll say this really quick because I lose service here. But y'all, y'all's followers and your likes don't matter either. Mm -mm. So I want y'all to know that I enrolled just as many people when I had 5,000 as I do now that I have 20,000. Yeah. And also that in itself can be intimidating. So if you are someone that like wants all the followers and the likes, like there's things that come with that too. I'm not as relatable anymore. And that's the truth because a lot of people will tell me, I can't do this. Like I don't have that many followers. And when I'm like, well, I started with 5,000, they're like, mm, I'm sure you did. So again, like don't feel like you have to have like a certain number on your platform or get a certain amount of likes. It's all about the one person who needs to see it. They will see it. That's what I had. Good quality. Yeah, I also had something else to say. Um, going back to what Cheyenne was saying, that it doesn't have to be that you share the big things because you don't really see me talk about the big things. Like I paid for my own tuition this this semester, and that's insane to me. Like I've no nobody in my family has ever done that, but I don't talk about it. One because like it's not we can't really do it with income disclosure statement now, but also because it's not something that's like relatable to people. And I was that person that looked at Kayla and was like no way you make $5,000 a month. 
like no and then it was more and people were like saying bigger numbers and I was like no no way no <laughs> it's impossible so I know like me reading someone else talking about something like that and saying that they did this big thing I would probably not believe it either if I was not in the business right now and understood it um so I don't share about that stuff but I had a TikTok the other day I didn't even say anything about the business. It was a random TikTok I posted and I just posted it because I knew I needed to be consistent. And so I put some words on it and it was like, if this is on your for you page, you must be like broke, like tired of working like your butt off and living paycheck to paycheck and doing this and that. And just like calling out what I was when I first started. And there were people, so many people that related to that. And that TikTok specifically is the one that's gotten me the most um, applications, like the work from home forms mm -hmm. were filled out that day when that TikTok was made. And I had no intentions of it really being about the business. I didn't post it. Like it doesn't say fill out the form in my bio. It just says, let's be friends and I can help you, which I guess kind of hints at the the business but I didn't do it with the intention of like getting people to go to my form I did it just so that way I could relate to people and people could like relate to me and it's got like tons of views and likes and all the things on it and it, it gave me those forms but it was because I shared the the things that I was before not that I came on here and was like I've done this this and this because then people see that and immediately it's like turns them off and they because it's just not something that's normal it's this business is not something that's normal so you don't have to have that big story to share because it's not even relatable for a lot of people right now um what's relatable is where why you started so shy was talking about the gas that's relatable for me and I'm pretty sure I joined Kayla like seeing her talk about gas because I I just bought my car and I hate paying for gas and groceries. It's like the big, the, the thing you need the most, but I hate paying for both of them. Uh, so her talking about that got me in the business. So if you feel like you just started and maybe you're too small, like you don't have a big enough um, story, you have a story. If you earned Christmas cash and it was 20 bucks, like 20 bucks could almost fill up my gas tank and could pay half of my nail, nail bill, whatever it is. It could get me groceries. So talk about that. Be hype in a way that you aren't having to like put the income disclosure and be crazy but be hype about the little things too and relate to people like that and you'll see that more people will be on your page like i gained followers that day too just because i was talking about that place that i started at mm -hmm. yeah and like i love that because like one thing that i mean like this happens to me and like this is not me saying that going <laughs> triple presidential ambassador is a terrible thing because we all know that's not that's not right but um, like I had a girl the other day, she was like, how much money do you make? And I sent her the income disclosure and I was like, I'm currently a triple diamond. My team's going presidential. And she was like, you're lying. And I was like, no, I'm not, not lying. And like it literally, she was like, there's no way. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't believe it either. Honestly. Like I didn't believe it opening the paycheck every single month. Like I don't really know what else to say, right. but like, I didn't believe it either sis. And like, that was one thing where like, it's not that you aren't going to enroll DTs once you get past that point or anything like that, but people do not trust you as much because there's like, there's no way. And I'm like, I understand. Like, and that's where like the voice memo aspect really comes in because you can be like dude like I know like I joined Shay when she was a diamond and like little did I know it's not where she currently was in the company but that doesn't matter I joined her because she said she was making two thousand dollars a month and that's what I was making working at my jobs and I was like if I can make that from social media I'm golden like I am set you know and like yeah two thousand is like a larger number on like a different scale but at the same time I didn't really join for that like I joined for something smaller, hoping that one day it was going to turn into a $2,000 paycheck, you know? And yeah, like she's put, or Riley put in the um, chat, trust the process. Cause like, exactly. Like that's literally just, yeah, I keep stuttering. It's fine. You know, showing up as yourself, but <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Like those big things literally do not matter. And I don't mean that in like a bad way. Cause like, I am honestly a very materialistic person, but looking back like it's those small things that people join for just posting that i'm sitting at home with my boyfriend if y'all want to keep it real today y'all i woke up at 12 today it's not a good day literally woke up at noon but you know what we still showed up i didn't say that i posted my coffee video act like i had been up for hours but it's fine you know but like it just it doesn't matter it's those small things so yeah exactly they don't matter in order to grow your team and your business exactly but this was seriously such a good Zoom. I loved every little bit of this. Um, do any of you guys have any last minute things that you want to share or do anyone have any questions? Going once, going twice. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop.